Hi, this is Tony and Lamont over here at Big Dog Supporting Big Dog's Performance. And we have another little video, a little informational video that we want to um, share with you guys some information. A lot of, well, not a lot, some of our customers um, that's purchased our Stage 2 ported Explorer GT40 type um, manifold or the Cobra or even the Tubular or sent theirs in to get um, um, stage two ported. We include a thank you and instruction sheet with everything that you know we ship to you guys. And our stage two ported um, GT40 style family manifolds automatically gets a 75 millimeter throttle body tunnel. And we also include the flow of the throttle body tunnel on the upper. And this setup that you guys see right here, this is a setup that um, the majority of you guys are running. Um, this is a three and a half inch um, pipe, uh, Anderson pipe. Um, many of you guys are running the even smaller BBK cold air intake pipe and a similar type filter. Now, you know, one of the things that we are constantly preaching to you guys is don't look at your, your combo as one individual or two or three individual parts. Most people, they focus in on cylinder head flow. They go out there and they say, I need the best cylinder heads possible. They'll look at a cylinder head that has a high um, flowing high lift number instead of looking at the cylinder heads uh, overall intake and exhaust from the low lift to the high lift. They'll go out there and say, I need the best intake manifold, you know, and they'll go get a huge intake manifold or go get, you know, one of the expensive popular manifolds. And nine times out of 10, many of those individuals are not utilizing those particular parts to their fullest potential, okay? One of the reasons why is because they're not looking at the combo or their package as a complete unit, okay? The intake manifold is only gonna do what the throttle body allows it to do. The throttle body is only gonna do what the intake pipe allows it to do the intake pipe is only going to do what the air filter allows it to do the same thing goes for on the exhaust side the exhaust um, um, cylinder head port is only going to do pretty much what the headers can flow the headers can only do so much you know with the collector and 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 the collector extensions then you get to the muffler you know none of that really flows well if your muffler is low flowing you know all the way to the tailpipe so you guys have to look at that as a complete unit so we have a bbk no i'm sorry we have an acufab 75 millimeter throttle body that we just ported okay we poured it modified so now it's flowing great you know it's flowing um, um right at 1200 cfm it's flowing great actually it's flowing a little more um but we installed the typical three and a half inch Anderson pipe that many of you guys are running. Nothing wrong with this pipe. For most of the applications out there, this three and a half inch pipe is sufficient enough because most of you guys are not making the kind of power that you know is going to to tax this pipe. But you have a lot of guys out there that are. A lot of guys out there are saying, hey, they're trying to make fun of the Explorer, the Cobra, and the Tubular GT40 style manifolds. They're saying, oh, they don't flow well, and then yada, 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 yada. Well, our stage two and three, if you guys know us by now, you know those things flow extremely well, and they perform extremely well. And on our stage two, Explorer GT40 manifolds, the throttle body tunnels, um, when we're done with them, 75 millimeter, they flow 
anywhere from 1040 CFM to 1065 CFM, okay? So that means you need a throttle body that's flowing more than that in order to not starve the intake manifold. Now that's just the stage two. Our stage three explorers flow even more, okay? So I want to demonstrate you guys. We have this ported AccuFab 75 millimeter throttle body hooked up to a typical Anderson three and a half inch pipe with a cone filter. And we're going to see what this setup that many of you guys are running will flow. So we're going to pause it and set the flow bench up. So we have the flow bench set up. We have everything blocked off. And we're getting ready to flow this. And let's see what this setup does. Eight hundred and ninety. About 895, 897 CFM. So, for all you guys talking about um, the manifold can't do this and the manifolds can't do that, as you see, in most situations, you're not even feeding that manifold what it wants. With this particular setup, a lot of guys are making power with this particular setup. But imagine how much more power you can make once your, com your combo is completely balanced from the air filter to the tailpipe. This is what we preach here at Big Dogs. We preach the little things. The little things can make a big difference. If you have several little things that's costing you five horsepower, if you have what? You know, um, three things is costing you five horsepower each. That's 15 horsepower to the wheels that you're missing out on. And it's easy to miss out on that power if it's small things like this. So that's pretty much 895, 900 CFM right there, which is basically 140 to 165 CFM less than what our stage two Explorer GT40 style manifolds flow on the throttle body title. Now, this throttle body by itself with the radius float over 1200 CFM. So while you're focused on the throttle body flow, you're not even feeding that throttle body what it wants because of this setup. Now we don't like these small filters. We like to use the long nine inch or nine and a half inch cone filter um, as more surface area flows more CFM. Um, when you put that with this Anderson pipe, the CFM goes up till about 970, 980. Okay, close to a thousand CFM. Um, so that's just something that you guys should be aware of. And like I said, we're not bashing anything. This Anderson pipe works very well. Works very well. But once you start reaching the the higher horsepower, and that higher horsepower comes sooner than later. You 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 really need to step up once you get past the the 350 real wheel horsepower range. You really need to step up to something bigger. Um, as far as pipe wise and Anderson makes a four inch pipe that we've tested before that flows a lot more than a three and a half inch pipe. So once again, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dogs, just shedding some light to you guys, helping you guys go faster, save money and not waste time. See you guys at the track.